Hello, welcome to LearnSigns.com, lesson number 25. In this lesson, we're going to talk about prepositions. Now, prepositions are those words that talk about position of things to other things. And some words don't really seem like prepositions. I've always thought of prepositions as any relationship a bird can have to a cloud it can be in, over, under. But there's other words that fall into prepositions. So we're going to talk about many of those in this lesson. And really, all I'm going to do is show you the sign this time around and not necessarily talk about the the deep definitions of some of these words because some of them are somewhat complicated. And so the next lesson, lesson number 26, I'll cover what some of these words mean and how to use them properly because there can be multiple ways to sign the word depending on what the word means. All right, so let's just go through the prepositions. And this certainly is not all the prepositions. There's many more. Uh, but here's the ones that would be most common and um, easiest to learn. All right, in. In, you have a cup, and you're going to put something inside the cup. This can be inside, in, into, out, same sign, but you just pull it out. Out. So the motion going into it is in, and then if you were to start here and go out, in and out. While, while. While this was going on, we went to the store. During the movie, someone screamed. This can also be as. As I was eating, my sister came to talk to me. While, during, or as. Now this is your index fingers pointing out, and then your palms are up on both hands. You're going to point up, back towards yourself, and then roll under forward while during or as now the opposite direction where you start at the bottom and you come back towards yourself up and out this is since and the way to think of this is in the past since then up to now so you're going to go from back to forward since while during at or as goes from forward to back or top to bottom and then since is from bottom to top since since I learned how to do this so in the past up to now it's also the word up to now since on this is simple on on and then off you can pull it off. Now this is to, like to take something off the table. It's not necessarily to turn something off, though you will see it used that way. On, off. Over. Now over and above, you can do it two different ways. Same way with under and beneath. Over, you're showing the movement of your dominant hand. If you're right-handed, that would be your right hand. Over, or you can also do it with a a over or above and then under or beneath under or beneath same same idea but you can do it a couple different ways under beneath that's also below with with you take and put your two hands with each other or together you can move it out to show the idea of duration. These two things have been together for a long time. If it's just two items that are sitting on a table together, then you put them together. Or you can do together or with over a duration of time. Without, you do the sign with, and then you just pull them apart and open. Without. Without. Through through. You're going to take your dominant hand, palm up, and then you're going to put it through the fingers of your other hand, your non-dominant hand. You can do it through these two fingers or through these two. Through. Going through. To. To. Now this is the preposition to, not the infinitive like to eat, to dream. It's not 
to each. You don't say that uh, because th that to in the phrase to eat, to dream, doesn't mean the preposition. It doesn't mean movement from one place to another. So this is movement from place to another. Uh, that would be to the preposition. To. From. From. You're going to take your, your index finger pointing up with your palm out of your non-dominant hand, and then you're going to take the X of your dominant hand, of your, in my case, right hand, and with the palm kind of facing towards me or to the side, the, a natural way of doing this, and then you just pull back, pull back from the index finger, from. Where are you from? Where are you from? For. For. I did this for this purpose or because of. For. Or I'm going to go get. I'm going to go for. Um, there's different, many different usages of the word for and also the word of, the next word. In, in those cases, that's what I want to cover in the next lesson because it really depends on what the word means as to what sign you would use. But generally, you can do for. Sometimes you'll see this done a few times, for, 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 and that means why, for what purpose, for. There's also a sign for why, we've talked about that, but this is for, for what purpose, for, and then of. Now, of has so many different meanings. Just the general word of, you can spell it. Of. O-F. But if you, if you know what the word of means, then you should sign the meaning for the word. In some cases, you don't even need it at all. But if you have a meaning for the word, then that's what you want to sign. And that's what we'll, one of the words we'll cover in the next lesson. Uh, the word of. Around or about. You can do this two different ways. You're going to take your, your kissy fingers, all your fingertips together, and you can point your palm off to the side, and then your index finger of your dominant hand is going to go around. Or you can point your hand up, around, around, about, around and about. And then two very easy ones, up, down. Just point, up, down. All right. Here we go through them again. In, inside, into, out, out. While, during, or as. While. During the process of this, that happened. And then since, since, comes up. On, put this on the table, or off the table. Take it off the table. Over. Over or over. Under or under. Beneath. Below. With or together. Or if you're showing these two people spend time together, you can go with and show time or duration together. Without through, to. Now remember, this is the, the preposition moving from this place to that place, to. From, for, of, around, or around, or about, up, and down. This is LearnScience.com lesson number 25. So LearnScience.com slash 25. And the next lesson will go into more detail about some of these words. But until then, work on these words. Start forming sentences. You've got plenty of words now. You've got adjectives, nouns, verbs. You've got uh, prepositions now. You've got adverbs. Um, a few adverbs we've done, not many. Uh, so you've got plenty to actually make sentences and to be able to communicate. 
find find a friend, communicate as much as you can, and uh, enjoy these new signs that you've gotten. And then we'll go over some of the more detailed meanings of these signs in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.